hello and welcome to my channel welcome to another tarot reading from me today's topic is going to be on what messages do you need to hear right now or what messages can your spirit guides give you right now what is the most urgent thing you need to hear okay so i have four piles as usual this time the choosing will be done with seashells i thought it would be fun so pile number one this is your seashell. Pile number two, this is your seashell. Pile number three, this is your seashell. And pile number four, this is your seashell. So once again, just to remind you, it's really important that you tune into your intuition to choose the correct pile. So I would suggest that you pause the video, concentrate on the question, take a few deep breaths, maybe with your eyes closed, and then choose the first option that stands out to you without thinking too much about it and still if you have chosen a pile and you find that the reading does not resonate at all of course feel free to choose another pile okay or maybe choose multiple piles okay so feel free to pause the video take as much time as you need to choose your pile i will see you at your reading so pile number one welcome this is your reading if you have chosen this little seashell right here okay so this is going to be the shuffling part and once again i'm going to add timestamps so you can skip this part because i'm going to be taking my time okay so spirit what does pile number one need to hear right now what does pile number one need to hear right now The people who have chosen the first seashell. What does pile number one need to hear right now? Spirit, what does pile number one need to hear right now? The people who have chosen pile number one, the first seashell. What does pile number one need to hear right now? Tell me, spirit. What does pile number one need to hear right now? Spirit, what does pile number one need to hear right now? The people who have chosen the first seashell what does pile number one need to hear right now in their lives what messages do they need to hear what advice so spirit what does pile number one need to hear right now what advice do they need to hear? What message do you have for them that is really important? What does pile number one need to hear right now? What does pile number one need to hear right now, spirit? What does pile number one need to hear right now? What message do you have for pile number one, spirit? Is this the one? No, no. What message do you have for pile number one, spirit? Okay. Hold on, I have to rearrange.
What does pile number one need to hear right now, spirit? What do they need to hear right now? Okay. Spirit, what does pile number one need to hear right now? What message do they need to hear? What message do they need to hear right now, spirit? What message do they need to hear right now? What message do they need to hear? What does pile number one need to hear? Okay. Let's see. The wheel, three of wands. You have ace of wands, ten of wands. You have a lot of wands here. And with respect to oracle cards, you got... Ceremonies and celebrations, Emerald. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. You have the humpback whale. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. And then you also have loneliness and mistakes. Mistakes allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me always take care of the inner child so he or she feels loved no matter what. And loneliness. When you stop fearing your aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. May I embrace and love my solitude. And that's when kindred spirits can finally come. Okay. Very interesting. So I think looking at this, I can see that you are probably a person who has gone through quite some amount of conflict. I can see that you are quite tired, maybe a little bit wary. You've gone through a lot of ups and downs and most likely you will continue to go through some ups and downs. It is very likely that you have become defensive. Maybe as a result of dealing with a lot of people that just didn't really appreciate you for who you were. People who maybe tried to take advantage of your empathy, of your kindness. I also can see that you're a person who has worked really hard and you're a person who really is very self-reliant to the point where you don't know how to ask for help even when you need it. You have a lot of passion in you, you have a lot of fire, you have a lot of confidence and you think that you don't need anyone but this tendency of yours to do everything on your own has really taken its toll. And you've realized that probably because of the fact that you have put on a front to show that you are self-sufficient and you can do everything on your own, now you ended up feeling lonely. And like people, people just assume that you don't need any help, even though you would need help, if that makes sense. I also can see that you're a person who... You are longing for adventure. You are longing for travel. And most likely, part of the motivation that drives you to succeed in life 
comes from this desire to travel more, to explore. And because of this, you are very focused on your success. I can also see that you are a person who is destined to become, I think, to some extent, self-sufficient financially, independent, and you are well on your way to becoming this person. You have great leadership abilities, organizational abilities. You could be a great manager. You could be good in any profession where you can, even when it comes to professions where you have to manage people, although you may not particularly like teamwork as much. I also feel like there is a new beginning for you around the corner. Some kind of a new idea for a new venture or a renewal of your passion. I think you're going to pursue something that you really love in the near future. Some opportunity will present itself and you will not be able to resist it. You're also very careful with your finances. You're very good with respect to managing your finances. I feel like maybe you are, you feel unappreciated, like you have worked a lot and people don't really, the people that you work to impress don't really appreciate you. That's how you feel. And this is a, a really a incentive for you to try to be as independent as possible. This could mean, you know, seeking sources of passive income or, um, you know, starting your own business, starting a side hustle at the very least. But definitely you are right now, like near future, um, recent present, you're going through a phase where you're very focused on success. You're very focused on, you know, um, achieving your goals financially, achieving your um, ambitions on a professional plane. I also see that you may have had some kind of a conflict with people from a foreign background or people that just come from a very different background than you come from. And if this is the case, one interpretation is that you are failing to see things from other people's shoes or like from other people's point of view. So that's something you should practice more. You're going to have some kind of like you're on the verge of starting something, some new projects, some new ideas, maybe a new educational program that is going to bring you a lot of success and a lot of freedom. You're a person who's very empathetic, like I said, and because of that, some people can really overburden you with their problems, or you might be so sensitive that, you know, just even being around the wrong people with the wrong energy can make you feel drained, can make you depleted with respect to your energy. I definitely feel... Like you're the kind of person that beats themselves up for every little thing that doesn't go according to plan. So if that is the case, then the message is that you have to learn not to do that. You have to learn to accept mistakes as a part of your growth and a part of learning. I feel like the message overall, so I wouldn't be surprised if your horoscope has um, strong fire energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but also some healthy amount of earth energy, like your, these are your predominant energies, so earth and fire, uh, earth being Taurus, 
uh, Virgo and Capricorn. And you're definitely a very passionate person. I feel like maybe because of the conflicts and the hardships you have encountered, you have doubted yourself. Maybe you have doubted your path. Maybe it was like down to, you know, you considering maybe you're too honest or too authentic. And maybe you should try to be less authentic in order to be accepted. If that is the case, again, it, there's a strong message here that you should not do that, that you are basically on the right path by staying true to yourself and pursuing your goals the way that they are without really considering other people's opinions. I feel like there's a strong tendency on your part to care too much about other people's opinions, probably also because you have a lot of fire. You're also potentially quite impatient. So you want to achieve things very quickly. And there's definitely a message here that, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day and that you need to stick to your goals long enough to actually get real achievements. And learn to stay loyal to your vision and trust your gut instinct. I also think another interpretation could be that in the near future or like maybe in the recent past, you're going to get some opportunity with respect to traveling or getting some kind of a um, opportunity professionally, financially coming from foreign lands or foreigners. There's also just an overall vibe that you're pretty much on the right path. I don't know if I said that exactly like that. But this is basically a confirmation that whatever you are focusing on right now is the right thing for you. And you are very determined, you're very passionate, and you have everything that it takes to succeed, basically. Also, there could be some, um, you know, there could be some kind of celebration happening in your life. Again, this could be recent past or near future. Some reason to celebrate either some kind of success or it could be just that you are going to be attending a celebration. And yeah, this is pretty much all that I can see here. So I hope you have enjoyed this and if you have, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to see when I will post a new video. Thank you. So welcome file number two. This is your reading if you have chosen this little seashell right here. Okay, so this is going to be the shuffling part and once again, I'm going to add timestamps so you can skip this part because I'm going to be taking my time. So spirit... What messages do you have for pile number two? What messages do you have for pile number two? What do they need to hear right now? What advice do you have for them? What messages do you have for them? What can you tell pile number two? What advice do you have for them? What messages do you have for them? Hardship and health. Okay. May I embrace what's happening right now as baffling as painful? Okay, I'm going to read this at the end. Because some people might skip the shuffling part. Okay. So, pile number two. The people who have chosen the second seashell. What messages do you need to hear spirit what messages do they need to hear right now what messages do they need to hear right now what do they need to hear dolphin okay
So pile number two, what messages do they need to hear, spirit? What messages do people who have chosen pile number two need to hear? What advice do you have for them? Calcite, okay. Interesting. Okay, Spirit, what message do you have for pile number two? What do they need to hear right now? What message or messages, what advice do you have for pile number two? The people who have chosen the second seashell. What messages do you have for them? What messages do you have for pile number two? What messages do you have for pile number two? Wow. Pile number two. You're going through some rough stuff here. Okay. Spirit, what message do you have for pile number two? The people who have chosen the second pile, the second seashell. What messages do they need to hear right now? What messages do they need to hear right now? What do they need to hear right now? What messages do they need to hear right now? What messages do they need to hear right now, Spirit? Okay, wow. Um, Spirit, please clarify the Two of Swords here. What are the two options shown by the Two of Swords? What are the two options shown by the Two of Swords? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, God. Clarify the Two of Swords again. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Wow, the Seven of Cups came out twice. Okay, so let me unpack here. Um, I'm going to start by reading the Oracle cards. Okay, so you have Calcite, Busy Times and Multitasking. Hope it's visible. Um, take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Which to me sounds like the Two of Pentacles, but I will get to that. <laughs> then you have Dolphin. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. Interesting. Then you have, let's see health allow me divine to be tender and accepting of my body no matter what ailments i may have may i always know it's doing the best that it can help me be a loving ally and friend to this sacred form and then you also have hardship may i embrace what's happening right now as baffling or as painful as it is help me god to trust where you are guiding me i am yours okay interesting and then you have the Two of Swords with the Two of Swords coming out twice. You have the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Tower, the Three of Swords, Strength, King of Cups, the Moon, Ace of Swords, Death, Two of Pentacles, the Star. 
Okay, so recently who have gone through quite a lot, I feel. So again, this heartbreak here with the Three of Swords generally refers to relationships. This could be a romantic relationship that has gone bad recently or just it could have been not recent but something that you are still not over and you are like still hurting because of that i feel like this is also reinforced because of the eight of cups being here so the eight of cups shows and also the, because of the moon so i can tell that you're in a very emotional phase right now you're going through a significant ending in your life you're ending a chapter most likely to me this shows the ending of a significant romantic relationship because again the eight of cups is emotional heaviness but it could be anything that you have invested a lot of your heart into okay a lot of emotions could even be a passion project a business you know something that has really taken up a lot of your time but with the health card here, I wonder if you haven't gone through some serious health problems, um, like, let's say, in the past year or so, that are still affecting you. Maybe something to do with the heart, even. This could be for some of you. The strength card here kind of um, leads me to think about Leo, which, again, is ruled by the sun and has to do with the cardiovascular system. It could be for some of you, again, that is something to do with the heart, like some actual physical condition. But again, it could just be being heartbroken. Like you are recently, have recently gone through this tower moment, like something has ended really badly and you are still not over it. You're still lingering in the pain that has come from this this is reinforced by the moon card you're in a phase right now where you're really not seeing things very clearly like you're very emotional still and emotions are really affecting your judgment the death card just shows transformation so i think the positive part about this is that whatever you have gone through it needed to happen like most likely this is going to be for for your benefit in the long term because you know and if you haven't gone through if you haven't gone through some major collapse maybe it's because you are more spiritual and you have caught you have caught um the trend of your life in time and you have realized that the path you were on was no longer serving you, serving your higher purpose. And maybe you have made some conscious choices to change the path that you are on. Whether this, again, has to do with your lifestyle, living situation, it could be a million things. Or, of course, it could be a relationship. Like maybe you have ended a relationship because you realized it wasn't working. And now you're going through that painful, transformative uh phase okay so this could either be that something has happened like internally for you where you are going through a psychological transformation or it could have been prompted by the transformation it could have been prompted by an actual physical event in your life okay something like a loss of a relationship a loss of a job um you know some major unexpected change but with the Ace of Swords, I feel like there is a new beginning on the horizon. So you are most likely going to have some new idea in the future that is going to help you start over. My feeling is like you are moving from being very ruled by your emotions to becoming much more clear-headed about who you are, who you want to be, where you want to be. And I feel like in the process, you are discovering your strength. This is kind of like reinforced by the dolphin here because it says, dive into your wisdom, go with the flow. The, the dolphin to me, there's like this um, a message, well, connected to this card of not dwelling in the past okay so like try not to 
identify with bad things that happen in your life. Because especially with the Eight of Cups and the Moon, I feel like you're still lingering in past hurts. And this could be a recent past or this could be like even something like childhood trauma that you haven't fully resolved, basically. With the King of Cups, I feel like this is, you are a person who's very empathetic. You have a lot of wisdom. You understand people instinctively. So there is a positive side to whatever painful emotions you have experienced in your life, which is that you have cultivated your empathy and your understanding of the human nature in general. And now, because of the Ace of Swords, because of potentially a new financial or um, material, let's say, business opportunity, you will find yourself in a situation where you're going to have to juggle a lot of tasks. With the, So you're going to be like, and also this is reinforced by... Um, here, busy times, so calcite, busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time. And honestly, assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Okay, interesting. So I feel like there's also a message that some of you could be workaholics. Like you're the kind of person that, you know, to avoid your feelings, you throw yourself into work or you throw yourself into a hobby or passion project or whatever it is that just keeps you from dealing with the pain you have gone through. And if this is the case, I feel like the message here definitely with the Three of Swords and the Moon and the Eight of Cups is that you need to take time to work through your emotional issues. Stop running away from those problems because the Moon card especially shows that the longer you try to bury your emotions, the more they will seep through in your conscious life without you even realizing and basically you will end up making decisions that do not serve you because you're being influenced by you know past experiences most likely painful emotional experiences from the past the seven of cups is interesting to me and also i think it goes hand in hand with the two of pentacles and the message that some of you at least for some of you you might have this tendency to use a busy schedule and your professional life as a distraction from your emotional sadness and unfulfillment. To me, it's really interesting because you had the Two of Swords that came out twice. I hope you can see this. Like, So you have the Two of Swords here, right? the Seven of Cups already being here in the general uh, spread says that there will be a tendency for you to jump to any opportunity that is presented to you or you will tend to basically not be very particularly discerning about especially i feel career choices especially it could also be romance for some of you okay maybe you this also could be in romance that you tend to see things you know with rose colored glasses and you choose the wrong partners because you think they seem so wonderful, but it's actually based on your projections and emotional illusionment, illusions. But it could also, uh, in, in light of the Two of Pentacles and the busy thing, this shows a tendency for you to throw yourself into too many projects at the same time and potentially waste your time into things that really are not even things that would make you happy in the long term so there is this message here that you need to learn to be more discerning about what you spend your time with and what you invest into and the two of swords here shows an indecision it shows that you are pondering between two options that's why i asked for clarification and the really interesting part is the one clarification so one branch is so like one option that you have is the five of pentacles explained again by the seven of cups so to me the the feeling here is that you are driven on the one hand to um secure your position financially but the way that you are doing it is not the wrong way you have a tendency to throw yourself for things that uh for activities jobs you know business ideas that are actually, you know, illusions. They promise you to make 
um, for, they promise to take you out of your financial hardships, but in reality, they're just wasting your time. So it's like, on the one hand, you have the path, this path, you know, this is your choice. You know, the Five of Pentacles explained by the Seven of Cups. And then on the other hand, uh, the other explanation is, again, the Two of Swords. So I feel like the Two of Swords coming out twice shows a, a, a need for you, actually, to be very discerning. A need for you to actually be rational and think things through before you make a decision. Don't be impulsive. Don't um, don't throw yourself head first. And again, with the moon card, it's it's basically don't um, don't allow your emotions to make decisions for you. So if you know that there are subconscious themes operating in your life, you need to work through those things before you continue on your path. And the explanation for this Two of Swords again, will lead to two choices. So once you have worked through your emotions, once you have, you know, cleared out the the moon energy, as in confusion, emotionalism, hyper-emotionalism, um, you will have these choices. So becoming the Queen of Cups or becoming the Seven of Pentacles, which neither of them are particularly bad, okay? So once you have reach this point of processing your emotions you will be in a much better position to make choices that will bring financial security but you might also ultimately opt for a path in life where you can get spiritual satisfaction a path that is true to your higher self but either way these are good options, right? So I think the message here is that the first thing you need to do is to work through whatever emotional hangups you have. The Eight of Cups also has, I mean, together with the Death and the Tower, they also have this message that, you know, whatever is the worst, I mean, the worst of it has already happened, that kind of thing. So the worst is behind you, basically. So you're going to see more progress in the future, definitely. But the more you work through your issues, the faster the progress will come. And the better your choices will be with respect to where you want to get in life. Also with the star card, I feel like you have the potential to become like a person who is really well-known, well-recognized. I think that uh, also this could be that, you know, you could be successful in things to do with social media like maybe even youtube stuff like that and you will you're going to have the opportunity to become well known and well recognized in a positive sense and it's also important for you at the end of the day to learn proper time management okay even though the main priority should be working through your emotions. It's also very important that you create a healthy schedule and it's also good for your health as well. In order to maintain your health, you have to learn how to set time for resting as well as work. And it's very important that you manage your time correctly. So yeah, this is pretty much what I can see in your reading. Another final thought that I can say is also because of the hardships card and also because of the eight of cups, I think there is a message here that you should, you know, I, I kind of said this already that you shouldn't be mulling over the past too much. Okay, so it's like, you know, whatever has ended has ended and stop looking back, you know. Stop wasting your time, you know, looking back and thinking about how things could have been different. Instead, just think about whatever you have gone through as a learning experience and trust that ultimately it's going to lead you to a better place. So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say. And I hope you have found this reading useful. And if you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Um, and also, if you're interested in a personal reading, check out the video description. I will leave my contact information there. Thank you. Hello, pile number three. This is your reading. If you have chosen this 
little seashell. And once again, this is going to be the shuffling part, and I'm going to add timestamps so you can skip directly to the interpretation, because I'm going to be taking my time. So, Spirit, what can you tell pile number three? What does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now, Spirit? What can you tell pile number three? What does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now, Spirit? Okay. Spirit, what does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now? The people who have chosen the third seashell. What does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now, Spirit? The people who have chosen the third seashell. What does pile number three need to hear right now? Aquamarine. Okay, interesting. So, Spirit, what does pile number three need to hear right now? The people who have chosen the third seashell. What does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now, Spirit? What does pile number three need to hear right now? Wow, okay. Spirit, the people who have chosen the third seashell, what can you tell them right now? What advice do you have for them? What do they need to hear right now? Okay. Oops. So, Spirit, what does pile number three need to hear right now? The people who have chosen the third seashell. What do they need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now? What does pile number three need to hear right now? The people who have chosen the third seashell spirit, what messages do you have for them? What messages do you have for them? Wow. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with the oracle cards. First, we have Aquamarine, Divine Life Purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Then you have Sea Otter, Happiness. Be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy every day. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. Your destiny, your good destiny of love is sure. Okay. And then you have service, 
and creative blocks. So service, you stop using the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. Interesting. Creative blocks. If you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. I offer this for the highest good to benefit the planet. Release me from any blocks and restrictions. May this serve all who need. Wow. Okay. So already you have the theme of service here and needing to be of service. And then you have the, the spread of the tarot. You have judgment and justice together. To me, that shows a lot of karma going on in your life right now. You also have the tower, which shows some kind of a major change in your life. And you have the nine of cups and the nine of coins, the nine of pentacles. And a lot of, you have the Page of Wands twice, and then you have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Very interesting. So the Page of Wands showing up twice, this shows that you're a person who is very youthful at heart, very enthusiastic, optimistic, full of energy, a strong desire for adventure. And you are very likely also creative. You have recently gone through or will go through in the near future a tower moment, which is some pretty traumatic ending, okay? This could be something external, especially if you haven't already recognized the need for change in your life. If you are more spiritual, if you have started to work on yourself spiritually and un try to understand what your path in life should be and see how current circumstances in life are no longer serving you, then most likely you will not go through some kind of serious um, material event. I mean, event in your material life that is going to be especially traumatic. So something like a breakup of a long-term relationship, the loss of a, of a home or something the loss of a job, etc. It could be a number of things. Um, with the Nine of Coins, the Nine of Coins and the Nine of Cups, to me this shows that you're in a pretty good financial position or you will be very soon because you also have the Four of Pentacles or the Four of Coins, which shows that you're a person who's very frugal you're very good at managing money and most likely you have reached a position that is pretty good financially not because of luck it's just because of sheer hard work and knowing how to organize yourself you are very likely a self-made individual or you are on your way to becoming a self-made individual because of the judgment and the justice cards present here this is interesting okay for some of you, this could be that you might lose money in a lawsuit. For others, it could be that you will gain money in a lawsuit because it depends on your karma. Especially with the Nine of Cups showing up next to the Justice card, I feel like there's going to be something, either a loss or a gain after... Um, could even be a lawsuit, yeah, directly a lawsuit. Or if it is not a lawsuit, then you're going to be either rewarded or um, taxed based on your karma. Very recent, like very soon, either in the near future or in the recent past. So if in the past you have gone through some bad experiences, most likely it's because your karma was due. And by the same token, if you have gone through positive experiences, new opportunities, or you will go through new opportunities and uh, chances and improvements financially, is because of good karma. You're in a position right now where you can afford to 
to basically deny opportunities that are presented to you financially because or you again it could be that you, this is the path that you are on okay if you continue to stay on this path this is how your circumstances will change um namely that you will be a person who just is not is no longer um forced to take any job for instance just because they have to survive but rather you will reach a point where you can afford to focus on the things you really want to focus on passion projects you know the things you really care about and you will be in a very good financial position It's interesting because you had those cards with service and creative blocks, and then you also have the Four of Pentacles, which to me shows that you might be a person who thinks too much about money, you know? Um, again, depending on where you are in life, for some of you, you may have already reached this position of the Nine of Pentacles or the, the Nine of Cups together of being a pretty well-off individual financially but others it could be that you're not there yet and this is your objective and in the path to that objective you are sacrificing maybe yourself your authenticity maybe even your ethics because of the judgment and the justice card in order to get these results so i feel like there's a strong message that you shouldn't do that you should be focusing on doing the right thing and doing things that you enjoy doing, especially if you are in some field that relates to creativity. Because if you do that, if you stay true to your creative path and if you do things considering the higher good, the money will come tenfold. So instead of, you know, being so focused on which job is going to pay better, or pinching every penny, you need to loosen up a bit. It's actually reinforced also by these other, like the Sea Otter card and the Divine Life Purpose. Be the master of playful living. To me, this speaks of being creative and doing things for fun for the sake of them without considering, you know, monetary gain or an increase in social status, for instance. I also can see that you are a person who has a lot of wanderlust. Like, you are thinking about traveling a lot. You might travel in the near future. But the Three of Wands also says that whatever it is that you want, the life that you want, the job that you want, they are at the end of your comfort zone. So you need to learn to step out of your comfort zone in order to be in order to be where you want to be, wh wherever that is, you know, whether it's better finances, whether it's a fulfilling profession, whether it's even a good relationship. But I do feel like for most of you, this is about mainly professions or life in general and how you approach life in general. You're definitely a very youthful person. So you could be physically young or you could be just spiritually very young. You're constantly, you, you, never, you never really lose your enthusiasm, which is a good thing. And you're also very intelligent. There's kind of like a Peter Pan energy kind of coming from here. I also think that you're a person who feels quite abundant, even for some of you, okay? For some of you, you could be people who really don't need a lot to be happy in life. Like, you could be feeling very wealthy even when, you know, you're just paying your bills. Or, like, you have a little bit extra on the side. You're not really seeking financial fulfillment much at all. So I feel like this is for those of you who are more in touch with the spiritual side of life it's because you have learned not to attach to the material and subsequently ironically it's those of you who do focus on this on the emotional fulfillment and pursuing creative pursuits just for the sake of creation that are actually doing better they're happier more fulfilled 
um, are more likely to have a better financial situation in life. But you're pretty much going to have some kind of a strong idea in the near future, I think. A lot of you, like, especially if, if you are in a creative profession and you're struggling with creative block, like, uh, creative block, like the cards um, suggest, the oracle cards, you're going to be getting out of this creative block as soon as you learn to create for the sake of creation. As soon as you get back in, in touch with that, you know, joy of living, that, you know, doing things for the art, doing things for, for the personal satisfaction and not considering external factors too much. You could also have a lot of opportunities uh, you know, from the online medium, things like remote jobs, like remote connections. And of course, this could also be that you are called towards justice. You are called to be fair in every dealings. For some of you, I would say very specifically, um, it could be just that you are a very fair person and that you might actually be recommended to pursue something to do with the judicial system, like something like, you know, being a lawyer. So yeah, this is pretty much all I have for you and I hope you have found it useful, Pile 3. This has been an interesting reading. And if you have, do not forget to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell to see when I will post a new video. And also, if you're interested in a personal reading from me, you can check out the video description. I will leave my contact information there. Thank you. So, hello, Pile 4. This is your reading if you have chosen this little seashell right here. And I'm going to add timestamps so you can skip this part because I'm going to be taking my time with the shuffling. Okay, so you can jump directly to the interpretation. But I'm going to leave the shuffling just to be clear that I'm shuffling live, okay? So, Spirit, what can you tell Pile 4? What can you tell Pile 4 right now? What messages do they need to hear? What advice do you have for them? What can you tell Pile 4? What messages do they need to hear? What can you tell Pile 4? Okay, so you have courage and challenges. Very nice. I'm going to read these at the end when I start the reading, okay? Okay, so Spirit, what can you tell Pile 4, the people who have chosen the fourth seashell? What can you tell Pile 4? What advice do you have for them? What messages do you have for them right now? Okay dolphin again just like the pile three interesting okay spirit what can you tell pile four what messages do they need to hear what messages do they need to hear what can you tell pile four what messages do they need to hear what messages do they need to hear right now gold okay interesting spirit what can you tell pile four what messages do they need to hear right now what can you tell pile four what messages, what advice do you have for them right now? What do they need to hear right now, Spirit? What do they need to hear right now? What do they need to hear right now? What do they need to hear right now, Spirit? What 
What do they need to hear right now? What do pile four need to hear right now? Interesting. What does pile number four need to hear right now? What does pile number four need to hear right now? Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for pile number four? The people who have chosen the fourth seashell. What can you tell pile number four? What can you tell number pile number four? What do they need to hear right now? What do they need to hear right now? What do they need to hear right now? Okay. What do they need to hear right now? What do pile number four need to hear right now? What do pile number four need to hear right now? Okay. Wow. So, um, you have similar, like, you have a mixture. I mean, not all the cards, of course, but you have a mixture of also Pile 2 and Pile 3, I think. So you might want to also see one of those if you are drawn to one of them. Maybe there are messages there for you as well. But you had the Star card come out twice. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to get to this in a bit. So let me start with the Oracle cards. So first you have Gold, Divine Intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. Then you have Dolphin. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. And then you have these two cards, which are very interesting because they came together. And you have challenges, unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. Please take over divine and guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. And then you have courage. Divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says keep going, do it, don't worry, all will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it, dear divine. May I feel your courage and your will. Wow. Okay, and <laughs> I mean, already these cards, the two of them, I to me, reinforce the, the, the chariot card that also came out here, and the queen of swords, and also the three of swords. So I feel like because of the three of swords, you're a person who has gone through some painful emotional situations. This could be very likely connected to interpersonal relationships but it could be anything that you have like put your heart and soul into like maybe you have put a lot of feeling into a project that did not turn out the way you expected this is also reinforced by the ten of swords so i feel like these cards show a painful ending but most likely i feel like it's something to do with a betrayal maybe actually not necessarily to do with a betrayal but just some painful emotional ending like maybe the person you cared about just broke up with you or again a passion project that you really put your heart into just didn't turn out well and you know as a consequence you have been really hurt and you're still feeling down and again, when I say, like, I'm speaking in the present, but this could have been, like, let's say, recent past, near future. So maybe this is something you're going to go through in the near future, or you have gone through in the past. But with the chariot and those oracle cards on courage, there's a strong message that you are basically asked to take the bull by the horns. Also with the Queen of Swords, like, you're basically being told... And the star coming out twice, like, you are destined for something major, I feel. Like, you are destined for some great success, popularity, 
maybe something to to do with working with the public, working with a large audience. Of course, this could mean social media. You're going to be big on social media. Um, but the message is that it's up to you. Like, it's up to you to push yourself forward and not let insecurities and fears stop you from achieving your goals and your vision. It feels like you're a little bit in limbo with respect to what you should be doing next. Or you have been for a while. And most likely because of that, um, there's going to be some kind of a change of perspective in your life. Like you, maybe again, this could be, I mean, most likely it is connected to um, the hurt that you have suffered, okay? So like if this was a relationship, then you're probably going to reach a point where you realize the relationship was actually not serving you anyway so you might actually get over it pretty quickly if this was a passion project same thing you might realize that well it wasn't so bad or like at the end of the day even if you failed or failed to achieve exactly what you wanted maybe you did achieve something else at the very least you learned how not to do things in the future you're definitely going to be surrounded by a lot of people who appreciate you, I feel. People who maybe even envy you. I feel like you're a person who easily draws attention. Maybe because of your looks or your charisma. There's also like with the dolphin play and the three of cups here, there's a message that you need to loosen up a little bit. You have to learn to enjoy the small things in life spend more time with your friends, your family, people you really care about and who really care about you. You're being asked to balance out your professional life with your um your social life and your romantic life, I feel. But definitely here with the star and the world coming out, like you're you're a person who is meant to reach out to many, many people, like maybe become super popular. Maybe in the near future, something's going to happen where, um, you know, the world is going to open up to you. You're going to get a lot more opportunities because of some endeavor of yours. But you are a person who should not allow things to chance especially not when it comes to their major life decisions it doesn't mean you cannot enjoy your life you cannot also play and you know have a vacation and have fun but you need to learn how to find this balance between enjoyment and your long-term goals because you're a person who is a very take charge kind of person um so i feel like you either go one end of the spectrum where you become very workaholic and you know put yourself through um like um isolation maybe even or like without wanting to you become isolated because all your energy is focused on your goals achieving 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 um and you become you feel lonely and you miss hanging out you miss having fun or it could be the other end of the spectrum. You don't really know when to stop having fun. And as a consequence, there's a side of you that always feels guilty about having fun or um, feels like um, you should be working right now, even when you are on the surface enjoying yourself with your, your, with your friends maybe or just by yourself having a good time. There's one part of you that's always guilty and always thinking about, oh, I should be doing um, something productive right now and I feel like there's a strong message that for you it's a problem that you need to balance these two parts of yourself and that's going to lead you to better happiness I also feel like you are a person who has most likely you have some kind of a strong fixed energy like Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius I would say especially Aquarius 
in your horoscope. Like you could have significant energies coming from these signs. And because of that, you can be pretty rigid. Like you, you can like you can definitely work on your ability to adapt. I feel like this is also a strong message. There's also a message here that you're quite bored with your options. Again, take it how it resonates. This could be a relationship. This could be professionally. Although my feeling is more, uh, it's more about professionally. Like you don't like the options that are presented to you. And you are determined to set out and carve your own path. Which is a good thing. You are definitely a person who has great willpower. And like first class intellectual abilities. So you definitely have the potential to achieve whatever goal you set in mind to achieve. Your strength is also connected to the ability to communicate. And I mean, you need to learn how to manage your time. Definitely. I feel like there's a strong message here. And how to deal with challenges. Yeah, so that's like the strongest message. Like you need to take the bull by the horns. Like you need to take matters into your own hands and don't wait for um, opportunities to show up for you. Instead, create opportunities for yourself if you're not happy with what is around you also because of this card. Um, I feel like you're not happy with the opportunities around you. So I feel like overall the message is trust your vision. And whatever heartbreak you have gone through, you know, it's a thing of the past. And like, remember that it's always darkest before the dawn. So if you're still right now in the aftermath of a painful breakup or some kind of a painful emotional hit that you took, you know, it, things are definitely going to get better for you. That's like a definitely a strong message. Okay, so this is pretty much what I have for you, and I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell to see when I will post a new video. And also, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can check out my video description. I will leave my contact information there. So thank you, 